Okay, so the first time we did this simulation... At a time when budgets have soared too high, leave it to a former pilot... Aviation was my background. ...to teach how to bring them back down to earth. Then, Major Chris Brockman, Chief Orson for the 21st TSC. Uh, Orsa stands for Operation Research System Analyst. I've been at Orsa since 2008. He's been learning about and implementing a program the Army calls Lean Six Sigma since he landed his last aircraft. So what is it? So I've actually had to explain this to my mom a couple times because she asked what I do. Um, when it comes to LSS, we just say it's a... Easy answer is a process improvement methodology. And in English, that means... It's a set of tools that you can use to evaluate your process within your organization to determine there are ways that we can improve it. Contract clerk? In current times, we really look at that cost factor. So can we save ourselves money by looking at the process and, and using the tools within the methodology of LSS or Link Six Sigma to make that more cost effective? Apparently, they can. $22 million more cost effective just last year. That's what Bachman and his team saved the Army by improving processes, and the Army took notice. And so we won the best Lean Six Sigma program for all the Army for the two-star level organization and below. It's the third straight year the 21st Theater Sustainment Command has taken top honors for their program. Now cost savers from around Europe are coming to learn how to implement their own Lean Six Sigma programs. Well, I think uh, in these uh, fiscally challenging times that uh, we all need to look at, the, look at our processes. Um, you know, if we're going to be uh, challenged to do more with less, then you have to find more efficient and effective ways to do business. If the military can navigate through the turbulence of the current fiscal environment, it'll be soldiers and civilians like the ones in this classroom who help guide budgets to a safe landing. For U.S. Army Europe, Jesse Granger, Kaiserslautern, Germany. So we'll go at 115.